Hi guys, it's Michael from the SM Cast here, and uh, today we have a uh, a amazing Lego review to do. Uh, I finished building this uh, this evening. I uh, built it last night from uh, about nine o'clock till about two in the morning, and then spent another hour uh, building it um, this evening when I got back from work. So uh, you can probably just make out the uh, the outline of it just here. That hopefully doesn't really give too much away. First of all, let's introduce this incredible set. This is the modular exclusive and this is the pet shop. This is uh, from the, the modular range. It's number 10218. It's It looks incredible. I mean the reason I've actually got it on um, where it is is because I can't get it to uh, fit in the whole camera frame so we're uh, I'm just going to give it a little, I'm just going to take the figures out, otherwise they'll just drop straight off. Just give it a little spin for you guys. Let's spin it to, spin it around to its rear. Really amazing set. We're going to go through all of this in uh, quite a lot of detail. So uh, that's the basic aesthetics of the set. Now let's go and have a, a quick look at the box. Okay, so here's the box. It's a, it's a pretty hefty box. It's a, really nice and uh, fairly thick, not as thick as the Death Star one or any of the sets like that but for £120 it really is, it's, uh, it's pretty uh, special. Uh, that's just pretty much some of the basic info about how you can, uh, it's a modular setup, modular build, the dimensions and a basic overall uh, view in uh, another little bit of information, uh, sort of stuff like that. And if we flip it over onto its back, it shows you some uh, all the modular setups, and then basically just a little bit of information of uh, what occurs in the set. Pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory, really. This one because it's a uh, this one's from 2011. This uh, this modular building, the uh, the interior detail isn't as good as some of the new ones, say like the Parisian shop or stuff like that. So. Well then that's a really 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 cool uh, cool box, so uh, now let's have a quick look at the instructions. Okay, so when you get the instructions they come in this uh, this cardboard backed uh, bag. And uh, that's basically just to protect them, to keep them in uh, optimal uh, condition. You get uh, you get two booklets, they're both about uh, 80 pages. Uh, not really much, uh, just a bit of advertising as usual, you know. Those of you that are watching this will probably know where uh, Lego instructions inside out so um so that was the instructions now let's get on to the uh, the main bulk of the set the uh, the minifigures so surprisingly the set actually only comes with four figures now because it's two separate buildings i would have expected or really would have liked um some more minifigures you know the, the more recent uh, modular buildings come with around about eight usually is a uh, decent figure so um <laughs> decent figure if you'll pardon the pun um so, uh, but anyway, we do get some uh, quite nice uh, figures. They're all with the standard minifigure um, smiling face, and all with the uh, the yellow print. So, let's have a look straight away into uh, into uh, the figures. So, uh, got a lady with nice swept hair. This was seen on uh, Narcissa Malfoy in uh, the Harry Potter uh, the Harry Potter series. A uh, nice uh, jacket on she got there. I think this is the lady that runs the uh, the pet shop. So a uh, nice little female figure, all a uh, nice add to collection. Now we've got a really cool figure. This is this looks like Ron Weasley. Um, looks like a typical dad figure on his uh, his green bicycle, which is a very nice uh, nice piece of uh, Lego equipment. I haven't really seen this before. Um, really really cool um, printing on him, and uh, all the way around as well. They don't uh, they don't. Uh, Stop with the detail at the rear as well, and uh, the simple, uh, simple face as before. Now we've got a, a little girl whose hair I think was seen on uh, Princess Leia. I think it was in uh, uh, Ewok Village. I think that's correct. Yeah, she's got I'd say uh, a little uh, hoodie on or something. It looks like yeah. She's got a little hood on the back as well, which I do. Uh, I do like it when they go onto the detail on the back, and the hair piece is a nice braid. Now shorts are, uh, I say shorts, so short legs are quite an interesting colour for this uh, for Lego. You don't really see uh, Lego figures that, legs or anybody parts that colour. 
And finally, we have the painter. Um, this is primarily because one of the scenes inside of the building, he's um, redecorating one of the walls. So uh, I quite like that, how they've incorporated the roller on the end of the uh, the antenna rod, etc. And a uh, nice dungaree outfit. And the new hat, which the new baseball cap, which is slightly curved. I really do like that. I really think that was an excellent... Uh, addition to uh, the minifigure series. So uh, that was the minifigures, now let's uh, move on to the set itself. Right, so uh, let's start with the set. It's uh, it's so big I can hardly get it in the camera shot, so uh, we'll start with the front of the uh, the building. So if I just, uh, actually, we'll just jump cut to a, a better viewing angle. Okay, so let's start at the uh, the front uh, face of the, uh, the pet shop. Um, Nice tiling design here, all of this is tiled to uh, represent the pavement, we've got a nice uh, street light um, system going on just there that you can see in the foreground. Uh, this uh, patch sign is actually made up of a Lego mosaic, almost where you actually slot pieces up and down etc and it's quite an intricate build really. Um, and then if we can just see uh, into uh, there we've got a, a light just inside of uh, the dinky little hallway and then down here if I just zoom in a little bit further we've got uh, a little ball and two bones in the basket outside of the shop which I thought was a nice addition and then a little a little canopy just up there coming over it in the front door obviously and then this section just here leads up to straight up to the residential with another front door so that's nice so uh, let's uh, just go straight upwards wind my camera up and uh, now we have got the, uh, the part of the residential building so it's just standard windows here nice cream colour and flower arrangements on uh, this window so pretty nice and they've got these recessed bricks as well which I remember from the old Lego City Airport from when they did the roller shutter doors etc and things like that because Lego are trying to incorporate more different bricks into the sets because many Many brick fans will buy a set, build it, dismantle it, and then use the bricks in here, knowing that because they've still got the instruction booklets, at any time they want, they can build this entire set. So, um, quite a nice, intricate way of doing that. So, some of the pieces inside of the building that didn't really need to have this recess have got those. So, we're uh, nice variety there for collectors, and it's it's this really nice blue as well, a very nice coloured blue. Now, this roof is excellent. The way that they have uh, designed this, I really do like this. So uh, we've got the little arches just here, and this tiling system here is made up of the uh, the triangular bricks, ever so slightly offset from each other. Really, really clever way of doing it. And uh, there's this um, this really cool. Uh, I won't really know what to call it. Really, like canopy detail, just uh, on the top here. Just all all bit bits that uh, really go towards. Uh, the detail of it and uh, up here as well we've got uh, more rail detailing as well so that's uh, so that's the front face of uh, there and now what we'll do is we'll jump straight over the, to the top of the residential block Just get the focus for you and uh, we can see straight away that they've done like this flower arrangement sort of uh, piece of usage that they're going on here to create like a pattern a little canopy this actually opens up into like a uh, a balcony area just in here and then some more more simpler detailing along uh, along the front just there so let's uh, let's drop the camera down and now we come to the next phase of the uh, building now just here I don't know if you can notice this detail here but these are actually skis great use of uh, pieces another nice flower arrangement and this curved glass piece using the kink bricks really did catch my eye it's a really clever piece of uh, lego uh, in well genius really uh, and then we've got the uh, the nice uh, detailing pieces as always just to give like a more bricky effect on the side so let's shoot down to the next bit and we come to the base of the uh, I'll start up here as you can see you just see the bottom of the ski detail just there there's a little doorbell which really I think it's excellent, the mailbox as well with a letter in it just there. Front door, I don't know actually to be honest with you, if that's front door, supposed to have a doorknob on it. I really don't know. 
No, I've just looked at the box and you're not supposed to have uh, a doorknob on it, so that's uh, that's that's relief. Ooh. You just see in the window here as well a, a vase of flowers as well, and this uh, just drop the camera down a little bit more. I come to more of a street view of it. This uh, this dome feature just here, I like the way it really captures the underside of the uh, the, uh, the piece. I'll just spin this round again, and if I just sorry about all the camera movement, I'll just do that. Actually, I wonder if I could just make that brighter. Mm, that didn't really work. But yeah, the, this detailing under here is really clever how it all slots in with itself. But they've used the skeleton feet, black skeleton feet, to create the uh, the railings going up. And then we've got a nice little uh, flower arrangement just in uh, behind the, those prison bars. So uh, that was the front of the... Uh, the buildings and uh, what we'll do now is we'll uh, we'll go and have a quick uh, quick glance at the back. Right, so we're at the back of the building now. So we've got two back doors, one with uh, some steps leading up to it, and then just in here we've got a little basement area. There are actually a few things inside of there, but we'll show you that uh, a little bit later. We've got a little barrel here with a little uh, a little brush in it. Uh, a rat that's actually leading uh, into a hole, his tail actually goes into the uh, the kitten pen and the cats are like playing with it and then there's a basket uh, a little ladder detail just had a little bit of effect and a dustbin with a, a little bit of trash in it so now if we just uh, raise the camera up we come to the next block of residential, a movable window just above this flower bed just here nice flower detailing again all these are bigger windows have got movable glass and uh, these ones are solid so let's shoot straight up to the next floor and now we'll be coming towards more of the roof so um, more glass once again just here but this time we've got a little uh, a little canopy area if I just bring that a little bit closer and drop the camera down slightly Zoom it out and get the focus we've got a nice little mosaic sort of going on here I don't know if you can uh, just see the colours. I reckon if I take the roof off, you might be able to. Yeah, just see the mosaic colours, uh, which was a nice, uh, nice effect. I didn't really know what it meant when I was building it until I realised that. Oh, there's a little mosaic. Nice little outside light, and they're growing a little bit of vegetables or something. It looks like in there. Whoops. And that's why it's uh, movable floors, as we've just found out. Now I'm just going to quickly take the camera off and very briefly show you the roof. Right, so now we're up onto the roof level. I've come round this side because the lighting's uh, a lot better here. Got a nice glass roof going on here with um, the uh, the angled uh, visor pieces, uh, and you can see in it lets a lot more light in. Got the chimney piece coming out, and then we've just got a plain standard piece over here. No, nothing really on the roof, but another chimney. So that's uh, a nice, uh, interesting feature as well. Now, before we go inside. Um, one of the things that I really did like about this set is the fact that it's actually two pieces. Now anybody knows that anything with the modular comes with these connectors here and you can actually connect them to make one big street. So this is really cool because you can actually separate out the two separate buildings and put say the fire station in the middle or them next to each other or the other way around. So, or you can buy two of, two of them and then use the pieces from the pet shop to build something else and create a different coloured residential all different possibilities which was really really a cool feature I thought so uh, now we'll go inside and have a look at the, uh, the interiors and we shall start with the pet shop right so I'm just going to uh, remove the top two levels from the top of the pet shop and we're just going to bring this closer and we're going to have a quick glance inside if I can get the uh, the camera to tilt at that angle, which I'm probably not going to be able to, so I'm going to very briefly shoot it up and go manual. I do apologise for this. Alright, so, the uh, the lighting is pretty poor actually. Maybe if I just spin around it, there we go, that's a lot better. Right, so, we've got the uh, two little parrots sat on uh, their pedestals in the window. We've got a, uh, a, uh, a shelf with food and catnip and stuff. Got a cash register in the middle. We've got a kitten pen, and as I said, the uh, I'm blocking out the light there actually. The uh, the rat's tail comes through that little hole you can probably just make out. Just spin round here. Just about make it out. Then under the set of stairs here, which fold back, 
we have got, you just can't see, if I spin it round, got a little puppy in his pen with a bone etc and a nice pattern on the flooring as well I did, uh, I did like that uh, so that's the uh, the ground level of petrol really interesting floor that is so that's pretty cool right so I just put the second floor on now and this is more of a residential area again we've got a little a little desk there with a cup and a clock and a seat some nice stairs again that are leading up to the next floor and if I just spin the uh, set round we've got a uh, that's better got a little cooking unit going on with a coffee maker, sink and a hob and then a little gas fire as well just there and then if we just spin it around even further we can see the uh, just make out the residential door so uh, that was the second floor I would have liked a little bit of tiling in here I think that would have gone uh, quite nicely ok so now we're up to the, uh, the third and final floor of the pet shop we can just see a nice uh, drop down the bottom there where there's like a balcony and uh, this setup just here is basically a bed quite a nice uh, formation bed as well uh, pattern a little lamp shade uh, quite a nice lego bed really cool some of them are pretty shocking the ones in the Simpsons house were incredible of which a review is on its way because I've got that I got that for my uh, my birthday for my girlfriend so uh, that's the uh, third and final layer and I'll just quickly grab the roof and we can uh, stick that on and uh, that level is now finito ok so now on to the, uh, the first floor of the residential block we've got a really nice stair unit going on just here just get the focus really cool curved stairs, we've got a little settee as well and a little cup and this down here we've got a little trap door which leads into the dinky little basement quite difficult to show you that because of the, uh, the flooring situation so uh, nice vase in the window as well and a little Lego hat hanging up and they can uh, see if they have any mail it's uh, in the day so that's really cool so that's a nice detail and the thing that really does top it off for me I don't know if you can see but just into there there's a dinky little Le Lego toilet Really, really cool feature. How they managed to cram that in there, I do not know. And a little telephone. Okay, so now we're up to the second floor. We can just see just uh, through here where the spiral staircase comes through and where the spiral staircase starts again. So we've got these nice window features here and this big curved opening as well, which is really amazing. And then this, which tops off the room, is the painter. Hard at work with his can of paint and his tray and... He's already started emulsioning the wall. <laughs> really cool feature actually, I thought that was incredible. Amazing bit of detail. Really, really liked that. So that's pretty much all there is in, uh, in this room, so we might as well jump straight up to the next floor. Personally, I was quite disappointed with this floor. There's, uh, there's not really much detail, the staircase comes through, and all there really is is these two uh, sandy gold boxes which is a bit disappointing, that's all there really is up here there's, as I said there's this little uh, this balcony area where people can step out onto the uh, the balcony awning section and uh, enjoy the morning and then there's a little door as well that leads into their little garden where they look like they're growing carrots and tomatoes maybe or something and then there's the little mosaic that I was on about earlier so uh, that's the, uh, the top floor, quite a limited detail really inside so that's uh, that was a bit of a shame, but uh, oh well, not uh, not every set you expect to be 100% amaze balls, but uh, but yeah, so uh, that was that building. So guys, that was set number 10218, the pet shop from the modular collection. Um, overall, I'm very very pleased with this set um, for 120 pound. I really can't complain. Unfortunately, at the time when I put, purchased it, it uh, was out of stock on the LEGO website. So I, by chance, just happened to go on eBay and uh, found somebody in uh, in Snenton in Nottingham that was selling it. So uh, not too far from where I live. So I was really pleased about that. I went and picked it up last night and uh, and built it. And I'm very, very pleased with it. It was £120 worth spent. So I'm 
assuming that they're going to discontinue this rather soon because it is from 2011 so hopefully I will have snagged one of the nice modular buildings before it uh, becomes limited shall we say a limited edition um, so uh, overall I would probably give the aesthetics so the outer fascias and uh, detailing of the building I would probably give that about 9 out of 10 I think there could have been uh, some improvements on uh, more on the, this shop stand bit here I think there could have been some uh, better detailing just here maybe and maybe a little bit more on the roof or something I'm going to give the interiors on the pet shop building I'm going to give that 8 out of 10 I think the base floor level was absolutely stunning there was it, they couldn't have crammed any more detail in if they tried so uh, that was a big thumbs up uh, and on the left I'm going to give the, uh, the residential building a 7 uh, primarily because the detailing inside was pretty pretty poor particularly at the top level with them just including two sandy boxes so sandy gold boxes so uh, so overall I'm going to give this set an 8.5 out of 10 uh, and I definitely would recommend it to anybody that can get their hands on it before it becomes discontinued and uh, as always I always recommend any Lego product I'm a massive Lego fan and this uh, this is going to go very nicely added on to my collection and hopefully watch this space I get paid in two weeks and I'm thinking about the Grand Emporium the Parisian restaurant or the town hall let me know in the comments below guys what you think I should get and uh, hopefully that might influence my decision so please do give us a thumbs up if you uh, enjoyed this review of this incredible set um, if you give us a thumbs down Please tell me why, there's no point disliking the video if we uh, don't have any feedback to show for it. Even if you should just say the lighting was pretty poor or we would have liked some more time to set, that would be great constructive criticism. And as always, subscribe. It's great for us um, to know who are our fans and want to keep watching our videos. We have a great selection of videos on our channel, guys. Lego, match attacks, comedy, airsoft, guns, reviews, unboxings, comedy, short films right random variety so please do check it out and as always guys thank you very much for your time thank you for watching have a nice day copyright 2014 rx reserved hi guys thank you very much for watching today's video as always please do rate comment and subscribe it's very important to us that we get great feedback from our fans and please don't forget to check out our extras channel including a lot of funny outtakes extras and things that we didn't really feel were good enough for the main channel yet are still great pieces of content and as always, please check out our other videos. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.